Um, in high school, I basically wanted to be an athlete, but I guess the limitation of my physical abilities was dawning on me. You know, I wasn't going to be a pro baseball player or tennis player. And then my sophomore year in high school, I sprained my ankle. I was on the soccer team, JV. I had started taking an honors English class, and the teacher said, oh, you're on the soccer team. The local paper likes someone to cover sports for them. Why don't you cover the soccer team? You have to travel anyways with your sprained ankle. You know, I'm compressing the story. So sure enough, for the Wyckoff News in New Jersey, I started writing up accounts of being watching these soccer games. And I made them, you know, filled them with hyperbole. I described the sky knitting over the field. Um, and then that teacher really got me involved with the school paper. I think I took a creative writing class with her. I then became the sports editor of the paper. Um, I, around this time, discovered Kurt Vonnegut. And this was the transition from, like, Tarzan, J.R. Tolkien, Isaac Asimov to, whoa, here's someone saying that the world is a mess and very confusing. You know, this was eye-opening. Then maybe from him, I somehow then read Hunter Thompson. I was getting very involved with the school paper, and suddenly and my friends started calling me Hunter, because all I would talk about was fear and loathing. And then from him, I read Kerouac, and then that really became my idol. Like, oh, wow, you can have adventures and <clears throat> run around the country and meet girls and drive cars. You know, suddenly I had this romantic notion of the writer. So by the end of high school, I very much wanted to be a writer. Um, my, that English teacher, who was very dear to me, wrote in my yearbook, I expect a signed copy of your first novel. And so that was in 1982. So in 1989, seven years later, I sent her the signed copy of my first novel. That you know, like it was one of my first missions. As soon as I got a few of the books.